hey my pretty ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if you know who i am i'm silky don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so anytime i do new upload you'll be the first person to know yes you guys happy fourth of july fireworks everywhere um thank you for serving you guys first and foremost secondly you guys look at this blonde and blue and red and white you guys already know what's up there i don't need to say anything okay this is going to be a quick and easy 4th of July eyeshadow look you guys I'm hoping to have it up today on 4th of July so you guys can have something to watch if you're sitting back relaxing and grilling okay so go ahead and grab those hot dogs those hot links those hamburgers those ribs make that macaroni and cheese baby and don't forget the beans yes don't forget the barbecue beans please do not forget those barbecue beans okay yes put some pineapple on it all right so, if you guys really, really want to see how I work on my skin tone, on my skin type, and how your girl came up with this 4th of July eyeshadow look, stay tuned, keep on watching, get straight into the video. Alright, my pretty, so we are here, we're going to do this 4th of July eyeshadow look. The base is already on. I have a video on this base. I'll leave it right up here so you guys can check that video out. But let's just go ahead and get straight into it. We're going to make this quick and sweet. I'm going to try. We're probably going to add a little rhinestones because I have been asking people to add. I have been having people ask me to add rhinestones. And I'm not a rhinestone type of girl. But we're going to do some rhinestones today, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips. I like to use a lip plumper while I'm doing my makeup fill in the lines I go in with the Too Faced lip injection and maximum pump so that's what I use on my lips you guys if you guys wanted to know but go let's go ahead and get started I'm a little excited you guys we're gonna go ahead for this look we're gonna go ahead and go in with the nude persuasion palette this is by beloved butte she is amazing youtuber you guys she came up with her own palette you guys it's so 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 nice i will leave everything in the description box below we're gonna use this palette for this pink possibly and these browns and then the other palette i'm going to go on with is this one here this is the jade palette uh, this is beauty bay and here are the shades you guys clearly we're going to use this red down here and that blue so we're going to leave this down in the description box below also but otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get started on this look. We are up close. We are up close, y'all. All right, you guys. So I do have on my Just For Kiara contact lenses, you guys. They're in zero, meaning, you know, they're just regular. There's no prescription in them. I'm going to leave everything to these contacts down below, you guys. Please don't forget to go and check out these contacts and purchase some because you get 20% off. Use the code pretty silk to get your contacts you guys and get a discount so yeah that's what they look like very very beautiful let's go ahead and get started on this eyeshadow all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go on my rumor zero six base and then to cut i'm gonna go on my rumor zero base okay so these are the two i'm gonna be using you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put this on my upper lid i'm not gonna put a lot because um i'm just not gonna put a lot okay I'm going to go ahead and go on with this E15 brush by Morphe. And I'm going to like just pat this down. Oh, nice base. Nice sticky base. Alright, so we're going to play with some of this stuff. I don't know really what I want to do, honestly. I know I want to put blue at the bottom. Uh, I do want to do blue at the bottom. So we're going to just go ahead and do possibly um the white and then um the red and for the video today i'm going to go on with these coca-cola morphe brushes i honestly really want to start the bottom because like i said i do want that blue i want to go ahead and tight line the bottom with this blue That's what we want down there. We want that blue to really pop. Okay. I'm 
that's the main focus for this video for me is the blue I'm packing it on now so if I have to go back I can pack it on later because I want that blue to really really pop and shine through so I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here and we're gonna find a blue eyeliner for the waterline so this is the one that I like right here you guys this is by Juvia's Place this is um, the Nubian eyeliner this is in the shade Royal this one's so 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 pretty you guys it comes up so blue like as you see it there it comes up really really blue I'm just gonna clean it off some because I want it to come up blue and not another color and I'll put that in my waterline to tie these two colors together that's just gonna tie it all together kind of go down a little bit off your waterline so that it could be another base because now I want to go back into that blue and we're gonna put it back down to make it more intense I know you guys I need to change my background from that pride stuff <laughs> it's also going to put that color on the lashes that one when you go to do your lashes you're going to come out amazing okay so we got that blue down I want to just do that blue so I can know what I really want to do I think I'm just gonna ahead and just add that red in now now I'm gonna take this bigger fluffier brush here and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the red out of that palette you get any red that you guys have any red that you can find and now I want to go ahead and put this on the outer parts of the eye and just start packing it there like I said I'm gonna make this one really easy you guys really fairly easy just keep packing it all right now I want to go ahead and just start blending out the edges of that red to diffuse it a little bit I don't want it to be in one spot All right, now we're going to go back into that red. You can also spice it up. If you put a little orange, it'll make it even brighter. It'll brighten up that red for you. you add a little orange in there. Like make it a base. If that makes any sense, right? And then go in with your red. It's going to brighten it up a lot. Got to brighten up that red into a red versus something else. Okay. All right. So that's what we have so far you guys now it's like do I want to cut it or just put it on I'm gonna go ahead and go in that rumor zero one now I'm gonna take this fluffy brush right here because I want to stemple it on I mean, more so stemple it in this area Alright, so now we have that. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with this smaller fluffy brush. Now we're going to go into that um, new persuasion palette. And we're going to put this white down. All in there, honey. Make sure you don't have any creases first. 
Make sure your base is flat. Gotta, it's going to take a minute to build this color up. Just take your time. Especially if your face is already done. Very beautiful white, you guys. The palette is beautiful all the way around. I do recommend you guys go out and purchase her. Again, I will have everything in the description box below. I'm going to kind of take that white over onto that other shade, which is that red. We're going to get to blending here in a minute. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go on with this bigger, fluffier brush. We're going to go into like a, a brown that matches the skin tone. And we're just going to take that brown and tone down this area here. Right around there. Kind of blend everything. You know, so it don't look harsh at all. Just like so. Doesn't take much with that. Alright, now let's go ahead and go back in with that red. Again, I'm mixing the red and the orange together to make it more vibrant. I'm going to go ahead and start placing her back down. At this point, you guys can um, go in, place colors down where needed. Just go in and just make everything more vibrant. That's what we're doing now. And I feel like the white can get some help. I don't know for some reason white kind of cracks on me no matter you know like where I put it where I use it it just kind of cracks and flake on me a little bit so I'm, I low-key know what mine's looking like you guys can possibly look better because your skin might be different from mine but white is something that doesn't work really well for me that's what we have there now I want to go ahead and put these rhinestones on I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the blue one more time all right you guys so i have like these rhinestones right here and i have some clear dual lash glue we're going to use the both of these you guys bear with me because i don't do rhinestones <laughs> so you're just going to put the dual lash glue where you want to place the jewels like a dot of it start facing them What's it looking like so far, y'all? Um, this is not easy. Should have did like one at a time. And then we're gonna go back into like the smaller ones. If they stick, they stick. If they don't, I'm moving on, honey. And that's what we have right there. You guys, I'm going to go off camera, finish up the other, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so that is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, finish the other eye, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so you can clearly see that the eyes are good to go. I'm going to go on with my Beats by Deb lashes. I'm going to go in with the style uh, baddie, this one right here. This is what they look like, you guys. Really nice, really pretty. Pop these on. All right, so now I have the lashes. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit before I kind of push them together. Um, I'm seeing something I want to fix, and I think I want to go in with the white and my inner part of my eye. 
to brighten that up a bit. I'm gonna use the same brush I used to put the white down. I'm just gonna go ahead, ooh, not makeup. <laughs> and just put a dab of do your right here. And kind of connect it over to that. So just a dab. Dab you dab and connect it. Just like that. It looks way better. Versus looking like it's out of place to me. Alright, you guys, that looks really good. I've never done rhinestones before. It doesn't look bad. You can go ahead and go in with some mascara on your lower lashes. is blue it might not show up as good but you know get them lashes you know all right my pretty so here is the final look you guys let me go ahead and zoom in on these eyes real quick so this is how she's looking you guys so what I did was you probably can't see the rhinestones on the inner part this one kind of got covered up a little bit it's not as shiny as it was like that one's shiny but yeah, for the most part, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Happy 4th of July. Get grilling, you guys. So put your blue nails on, your blonde hair, do your eyeshadow, some lip gloss, okay? Get to that park, you guys. See those fireworks and enjoy. And thank you for everyone that has served, okay? But without further ado, I love you guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and bye.